morning, Hawks. I'm Mrs. Patinas, and you're watching the Hawks News Network for Monday, May 11th, 2020. All of us at Hawks News Network continue to hope that our extended Hawk family is doing well during um, this time and staying healthy. Hawks, Teacher Appreciation Week has come and gone, but not before Lake Mineola's administration. Students and parents have showered our wonderful faculty with love. Special thanks to our SGA for allowing teachers to send each other brief notes of admiration and encouragement. Teacher appreciation was not the only celebration we had last week, and what has quickly become a new Hawks tradition, we have another fun video for you. This time, we have choir director Mr. Tapson and his virtual choir to thank for helping bring us Hawks together, even though we are apart. students will receive up to $10,000 in scholarships thanks to Project Scholar, the parent organization and host of our annual Pig on the Pond Community Festival. It is no surprise one of those winners is a hawk. Congratulations to our own Nellie Onuga. Nellie will now receive $2,500 per year to help with her higher education expenses. And a scholarship was not the only thing Nellie won this week. The Lake Mineola Athletics Department usually presents their annual awards at an end of the year banquet. Our athletics banquet has become yet another victim of COVID-19. However, we Hawks are not allowing our quarantine to stop us from celebrating our athletes. Ain't that right, Mama Hawk? We would like to begin the class of 2020 Senior Athletic Award presentation with our Senior Athletic Academic Champions. This award goes to one female and one male 
who represented Lake Mineola High School athletics and had the highest academic achievement among all Lake Mineola senior athletes. Our senior female recipient is Nellie Onuga, congratulations. And our male recipient is Kevin Harriman. We want to say congratulations to our Hawks for always being honorable, academically focused, wise, kind-hearted, and successful. Again, congratulations. What's up, Lake Mineola? I'm Coach Kelso, and I'm here with the very lovely Senora Kelso and family, and we are your very proud Varsity Club sponsors. We are here today to introduce to you all the Class of 2020 Spirit Award winners. That's right, Hawks. What seniors have showed the most school spirit and support for our athletic teams this year? Senora, go ahead and tell us who our female winner is. Our female school spirit award winner this year is Katie Kovar. Congrats, Katie. Very proud of you. And our male award winner is my man, Xavier Rojas. Hawks, I believe this when I say, class of 2020, you are second to none when it comes to school spirit. Thank you all so much for everything you did this year. For the rest of you all, I've been working on something this quarantine, and I'm going to be ready next year for the slam dunk contest. Hi guys, I'm Hope Campus. I'm currently the varsity co-president of Lake Mineola High School and a senior at Lake Mineola High School. I want to thank all the seniors for what they did put into this year, and I want to let you guys know I am proud of you overall from everything we did accomplish. I'm here to reveal the teams of the week, and for the males, it is the boys football team, of course, with it winning the district champions and the regional runner-up. And for the girls, it's the girls soccer team for winning the district champions. I'm so proud of you guys, and I hope we are able to have a great rest of the year. Hi there, Hawks. I guess it's time for my section of the awards ceremony. You know, when it comes to great performances of the year, I figure who better than to present this than Coach Alfred since, you know, I put on a pretty good performance this year of my own in a staff or student basketball game. However, it's not about me tonight. Tonight, it's about you, the seniors. So without further ado, let's go ahead and present the award winners for performances of the year. Before we do that, notice I'm dressed up tonight, and I figured even though we're in social distancing, doesn't mean I can't dress up. However, we are in social distancing, and I am gonna go ahead and dress the part, if you will, at least half the part. So, let's go ahead and get to it. For female winner for performance of the year, Morgan Shannon, varsity softball player. In a game against Ridge Community High, she pitched seven innings. 18 strikeouts, two walks, and no earned runs. Congratulations, Morgan Shannon. Now for the male performance of the year winner. Keandre McGlure in a landslide victory. We couldn't narrow it down to one performance. Instead, many, many, many other performances all combined to make one great overall performance. And it all cultivated, or I guess you would say ended with a bang at the end of the year when we won the district title against Springstead, thanks to Keandre McGlure. So again, male winner of the year goes to 4K, Keandre. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this section of the awards ceremony. And unfortunately, we couldn't all be together. But just know that I'm thinking of you, Coach Alford, as well as the rest of us coaches and everyone involved with the athletic department at Lake Mineola. God bless, and we'll see you again next year. That's awesome. The remaining athletic awards will continue to be announced every day this week, so be sure to follow our Varsity Club on Twitter and Instagram, or our own Lake Mineola platforms for the remaining announcements. And of course, H&N will bring you a complete wrap-up of all the awards on next Monday's show. Okay, listen up, Class of 2020. We have some important dates for you. Seniors, the time to turn in your district Chromebook, textbooks, calculators, and library books will begin next week. However, you must come in and only on your specific day to minimize wait times and so we can adhere to CDC safety guidelines. You will remain inside your vehicle during the whole process, which will once again take place in the Lake Mineola bus loop. 
and there will be staff directing you on where to go. Chromebooks must be returned the way you received it, so please clean and remove all personal stickers and with the charger neatly wrapped. Now pay attention, this is important. Make sure your Chromebook is fully charged so we can confirm it's working. If your device is not charged, you will be sent home and you will have to return your device on the makeup day. As always, you are still responsible for any damage and any senior who does not turn in their Chromebook or other items will be charged the full prices. These fines will be placed on your Destiny account and all fines must be paid before you can receive your diploma. You can find the return schedule and all information on the school website or Student Hub. Good morning, Hawks. Student government wants to thank you all for a successful week of appreciating teachers and staff at Lake Mineola. It was great seeing all your amazing posts and pictures while earning class cup points for your class. SGA is offering one more opportunity to earn class cup points for the 2020 school year. We know our seniors wrap up their high school career this week, and so this will be the last push for points and will determine the winner of the class cup for the 2019-2020 school year. SGA and guidance present Mindfulness in May. For this week, you can write, post, pictures, make it videos, and in general, express what is on your mind. Here are the daily themes. Monday, Manifest Monday. Let everyone know what your future holds by posting your goals for the next year. Tuesday, Talk About It Tuesday. We all have been home for over seven weeks and have a new lifestyle. What have you learned about yourself during this quarantine? Wednesday, Wisdom Wednesday. Think, thinking happy and positive thoughts during this changing time, post your favorite positive quote or saying. Thursday, Thriving Thursday. How are you taking care of yourself? Post a picture of self-care during this time at home. Face mask, working out, eating healthy, ETC. Friday, Flex Friday. As we end the school year, for some of you, your high school days are over, myself included. Post one of your proudest accomplishments. We will be making templates available and they can be found on the Lake Mila SGA Instagram account at Lake Mila SGA. Don't forget to tag them or your class account to be eligible to earn a point. If you don't know where your Instagram account is, here it is. We are accepting your submissions through Friday evening, May 15th. Let us know what is on your mind. Have fun, get creative, and let's see what class is able to capture that prestigious Lake Miola Class Cup. And for the final time, I'm James Anderson, and it has been a pleasure and a joy working on HNN and being the host of the SGA Class Challenge. Go Hawks! The new online AP exams begin today. So remember, log into your My AP account to access your e-ticket, which includes your eight-digit AP ID code. You need to enter the exam. Your personal e-ticket is available two days before your exam on My AP. In addition, remember the College Board has asked you to log into your exam a full 30 minutes before the test is scheduled to begin so you can complete the online paperwork. Good luck Hawks and make Mama Hawk proud. If you ordered a yearbook, you can pick it up tomorrow, Tuesday morning, May 12th between 9.30 and 11.30. Mr. Montori will once again be at the front entrance of the school. And if you have not purchased your own personal copy of Reflections yet, you can order yours right now for just $75. Just go to the school website, scroll down the home page to the payments button, click on the yearbook button, and get to the order page. In addition, on Tuesday morning, if you have medication stored in our school clinic, you can stop by Lake Mineola in the morning to retrieve it. And so it goes, Hawks, for Monday, May 11th, 2020. Remember, Hawks are honorable, academically focused, wise, kind-hearted, and successful. I am Mrs. Patinas. Have a great day, Hawks, and remember, wash those hands. We'll talk again Monday.